Just a quick update before we go on with the video. Uh, I sent the air injector back to the guy on uh, eBay. He did uh, refund me for the one air injector. Uh, I was kind of hoping he was going to send me another one, but he didn't. Uh, so I'm out the shipping on the second one. So what I decided to do was go on uh, eBay and, uh, or eBay, on uh, Marketplace and have a look around for a junker machine so that I could rob all the parts off that, build something, and then just scrap the hull. So I found the cheapest one I could find, it was 1100 bucks. Went and picked it up yesterday. Uh, have a look. So this is a 2001 RXDI, all complete. We can have a look inside and do an assessment. Hull. Just dirty, no damage at all. So now here's the dilemma. Do I pull this thing apart and scrap it? Or do we fix it? And the decision, I guess, will be made when we have a look at the engine and see what's involved. But I think it would just be a sin to tear this thing apart and junk it when it's one of the best that I've uh, picked up. I was quite surprised when I saw the thing, but this guy had spent a ton of money on it and the uh, dealer had messed with the oil injector and told him it needed an adjustment and immediately upon adjusting it, he took it for a ride and the engine seized, I guess. Uh, so let's have a look at it and assess and then we'll go from there. Okay, so having a look in the engine bay, something that just caught my eye, I don't know if you can see, carbon ring, it's cracked right there. That's unusual, so looks like someone's been on that with a wrench maybe or something, I am not sure. Also, I tried just grabbing the PTO and there's no movement there at all. We can put a screwdriver on it or whatever, uh, just see if we can move it. I just noticed now this bolt on the exhaust is totally loose. So that means someone's had this off. I don't know if the, all the other exhaust bolts are on. Seem to be. Someone's been in the top end here because I can see the paint is off the bolts. The build just kind of a little oily, mucky down there. I don't know. When I see that, that kind of indicates that there's a hole in the block and uh, that's the oil from out of the engine. So we'll have to assess that. Oh, there's some nuts and bolts down there. I don't know if that's from the battery. Can't see it from the side, oh yeah, down there. Oh, that's something else they were doing. That part right there that I see is from up here for grounding out the ignition. I guess what we'll do is we'll get a scope, we'll pull the plugs out. Normally I would check compression, but we can't roll it over. So let's have a look inside the uh, cylinders. See if there's something that we can see. Pretty sure it's gonna be obvious, but you never know. No crushed spark plugs. That's water. I think that's what actually smells like old gasoline. OK, 
can't see. Let me get the scope. There's the scope. Let's see if we can. It looks like there's some rust. <clears throat> Lots of scoring or something. Look at this. Well, the piston doesn't seem like it's messed up though. I don't know. Maybe pull the head off this thing and have a look. Let me grab a bar. Locked solid. Hmm. I think to do a quick assessment, we should take the head off. If that, yeah, let's do that. Same procedure, pull the injector power lines off. Should put the spark plugs back in because I know what's going to happen. Something's going to fall. Loosen up those air injector clips. Knock sensor, that's bigger than a 10 mil, I think. Nope. Okay, let's take that head off of there and see what's going on. Is that all of them? I think it is. Pry spot right there. Come on out. Ah, uh, the water hose.
this has been bored to one over already. Huh. Don't see anything that bad. That is perfectly smooth. Usually you'll see evidence of something catastrophic. I'm not seeing it. the head out. I don't know if you can see with this lighting or not. Does that help? Look at the impact craters both sides. So I think that's previous damage. That dome has just been cremated. So there has been some issues with this thing grenading obviously. So I think I'm going to pull the exhaust off. That opens up some space up there, but does that help us? I don't think that's going to help us determine anything, is it? So we kind of have to eliminate the pump being seized. And the only way I know to do that is to pull the pump off, which we can do. So why don't I pull the pump off and then we'll try and rotate this again. Maybe I can get in there better and uh, go from there. It might be just frozen, but uh, obviously he was talking something about it seizing up on him. So eh. let's pull the pump. Okay, now we got to disconnect the drive shaft pin, or can we? No, I can pull this right out. Leave the shaft in there. I disconnected the steering reverse gate tilt. Oh, that's nice. So, engine is seized for sure. I guess back to the engine compartment we go. What is this? That's been cut off. Why? So it'll have no speedo. So carbon ring, speedo so far. And get the drive shaft out. Oh, that was dumb. When you pull the pump off, the drive shaft pulls out. Okay, now we'll pull out the drive shaft. Slide that back to expose the pin. There it is, our clip. Now I gotta try and push that off, but it wants to rotate. I guess we're going for let it fall in the bilge. That's the plan. We'll have to find that later. Okay, now pull the drive shaft. Drive shaft, not too bad. A little bit of corrosion. We gotta make some room here. Now we gotta find the ring. 
that foul there, and the clip, wherever that may be. Just searching around in the bilge, which this was covered in silicone, so that's suspicious. It's metal. And then I'm looking at just feeling around when I was feeling for the clip. I don't know how I can show you this. Get some light down here. Uh, down here, right here, that's a, a bolt. And that, I think, is a hole in the engine case, which you guys can see, but I cannot. And I think the bolt came off the compressor piston and blew a hole through the case. And that's got the counterbalance jammed up. And that's why the engine won't spin over, I'll tell you. I'm like 99.9 sure that's what's going on. I don't think it was oil issue at all because I'm not seeing it up here in the top end. So that, I would say, is the engine failure. All right, well, we just learned a huge buying lesson or something to look for, but it's that oily, mucky water that you'll see in the bottom of the bilge. And it's the, it looks like the brown color. Uh, the red, these tanks always leak on the seam and you'll see a little bit of red in the bilge. That's nothing to worry about. But that brown, oily water, every time I've seen that, it's a crack block. So, uh, the dilemma now is, like I said, my intention, I bought this thing just to part it out and junk it. The hull is really nice. Like the ball, everything, there's nothing wrong with it. A couple of minor dings, but uh, I think we're just going to uh, restore it. So, I've got my list. That was the ring I was talking about that was no good. So. Uh, yeah, pump is good, impeller, everything else is just fine. So I'm going to order an engine case and uh, the next video I guess we'll tear it all down, uh, pressure wash it like we do, clean it all up nice and get it ready for the uh, new engine. So kind of a change of plans but uh, what the heck, I cannot send this thing to the landfill, it's just way too nice. So it's going to take me uh, probably two weeks to get a case and then we'll move on from there. In the meantime, thanks for watching.